Hi there and welcome to Lingubes. I'm Laura and if you are not a native English speaker, I'm sure you'll be able to relate to our video today. I'd like to talk about the struggles of people who are learning English and need to use it on a daily basis, for example, for work, and the everyday problems they face when they try to communicate to others in English. So let's get ready! And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet and like our lessons if you find them interesting and useful. As well, remember we have our social media where you can find daily posts, activities to practice your English, games and much, much more. I've been living abroad and working as an English teacher for more than 10 years now. And the other day, having a drink with some friends, we were talking about how frustrating it can sometimes be when trying to communicate things in another language. One of my friends, a native English speaker, said, I can't imagine how it is working in a foreign language. And it was then that I realized that my work experience and the one of millions of non-native English speakers all over the world is not the same as everybody else's. Definitely not the same as all those people who don't need to make any extra effort because their life and work happens in their first language, English. That comment made me see that apart from the normal work we do, we, non-native English speakers, also have to go through this always running process of trying to communicate in a foreign language, which can be honestly quite tiring. I remember how sometimes I felt insecure about my speaking skills, especially when I was the only non-native in a meeting or in a course, and I remember how I was not able to say exactly what I wanted to say because I was not 100% comfortable with the language, and I had to just be okay with what I could say that hopefully was close enough to what I was meaning. Do you know how frustrating it is to have to translate everything in my head before I say it? To have people laugh in my face because I'm struggling to find the words? You should try talking in my shoes from one mile. I think you meant. I know what I meant to mean. Do you even know how smart I am in Spanish? Of course you don't. So, are non-native speakers stupid? Absolutely not. And I'm sure that we all have felt like this at some point, wanting to tell someone, excuse me, do you even know how smart I am in Spanish? Or in the language you speak? I'm an English teacher. I'm constantly surrounded by people who have big difficulties trying to communicate in English. People who can't express their ideas fluently or freely. Sometimes people may fall into the trap of believing that those non-native speakers are not very smart because they don't have anything interesting to say and always seem to be confused, but that couldn't be further from reality. Because they often have a lot to say and they are very smart people, but they just don't have the ability to express their ideas as naturally and comfortably as they would like in a foreign language. In this case, in English. And why can't they communicate fluently? They can't communicate fluently, especially at lower levels, because they do a Sofia Vergara. Try to translate all the information in their head before they say it. So first they have to think what to say in their first language, in their native language, and then translate all that information into English, which takes some time and can be quite tiring and even frustrating. On some occasions, even at higher levels, non-natives struggle to find the words they need. We sometimes want to use a particular word, a word we used to know, but which doesn't come to our mind at that precise moment. Or sometimes we need to use a word which we haven't learned yet. Consequently, we often end up using a different word, a word which might not be precise enough for the other person to understand exactly what we are meaning to say. 
and this situation can create sometimes misunderstandings. On other occasions, the problem is grammar. How to use the correct structures and tenses to express our ideas clearly and correctly, again, trying to avoid misunderstandings. And to help you with that, don't forget to check our grammar playlist of lessons here at Lingoverse. And of course, some of the times, the difficulty is the pronunciation of words, producing the right sounds to create the right words. And this is another challenge that non-native speakers have to face, to be professional and competent in their everyday life and work in English. And are people sometimes rude to non-native speakers? Well, unfortunately, and based on my personal experience, I would say so, especially in a working context and with lower levels. Let's say that you are working with your colleagues, partners, clients in English. Apart from your professional knowledge, you'll also be required to have a good communicative ability to do a good job. We people are generally impatient. We have no time to waste. So someone can get a bit nervous or frustrated when a person is struggling to find the right words or provide the right answers. And these frustrations can sometimes lead to being a bit rude or inappropriate. My advice for you is don't take it personal. Those people probably don't know how hard it is to live and work in a different country. So if you, watching me at home, are in a similar situation, I want you to know that it's okay to be tired after a whole day at work in a foreign language. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to forget words. And it's okay not to understand things sometimes. Because you know what? It's okay to be human. So just don't give up, do your best, and be proud of your achievements. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if that's the case, like it, share it with your friends, and we'll be coming back very soon with new lessons to help you improve your English. But of course, don't miss any of these ones we've already prepared for you, which can be very handy. We'll see you soon, but in the meantime, practice this, enjoy it, and share it.